Okay, so here we've got GL reactor. This is the hot water cylinder. And down the bottom here, we've got all the different bits and bobs for actually uh, opening valves and whatnot. So, if you can see here, I'll bring the light down. It's a bit dark in here. This one here, you open that and that basically lets the oil flow down here flows down and if you want to open this you can drain oil off or whatever else this one here I uh, basically screw in there my uh, hose from my waste vegetable oil settling tank open this and then pump it through this here just opens the valve here and then you've got pump here I've also got a sight level here so I can open and close that and you can see what level of oil you've got in it. I've got my pump here, don't worry about this about this here, I'll come and talk about that in just a second. Um, I've got a pump which pumps it up it goes up, 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 up and then I've got this here and you've got your Venturi there and your Venturi can suck in your methoxide or water from this container here. Um, at the top, you can see up there, we've got hose that comes out here, pipe that comes out here, comes down to here, and then we've got a condenser, condenser which goes down to here, and then down the bottom, we've got where our methanol or whatever else our water condenses into. I've got just the water coming in from the tap, being in the west coast of Scotland I'm not too bothered about the amount of water um, that's going out because we have millions of gallons here. Um, and I've got my power here so I've got, this is for my pump and this is for my heater. And um, when I switch my heater on, if you can see here this little red light goes on at the same time so I can see when my heater's on. Okay, um, I've also got this temperature gauge down here so you can see what temperature the oil is at. Um, I'm needing to do a wee bit of work on it, that's why I've not bothered cutting these off, there's a wee leak in it so I need to take it apart and sort that out. Um, right, back down to, to, well what happens is basically when I'm finished and it's all reacted and whatnot, I pump it in here and it goes into here and then Basically, inside here, you've got biodiesel. There's some biodiesel on there at the moment. Um, I'll show you that in just a second. Um, I should probably show you this. First, this is basically um, what we have in here. We pull this out, and then on the bottom of it is basically just a little bit of copper in the hose. So that goes right into the bottom of your container, so it's sucking out from the bottom of your container. Okay, if we have a look at what's inside here I can show you if I can get the light over we've got some biodiesel in there it's my first batch, I don't have a massive amount um, I'm actually going to have to make another batch before I can drain it off because as you can see it hasn't actually come up high enough for me to drain it off um, when I'm ready to to pump the biodiesel into the cart what I'll do is I will basically open some valves it will suck it out along here down and then it comes along here up and then it'll go back up through the pump and instead of going up the Venturi it'll head out along the back here um, up this up this pipe here and then I'm going to put on a couple of filters here which I've not yet done, I'm just waiting for the brackets a couple of inline filters and then I'll suck that out and pump it into the car and that is pretty much that, I think. Not much else. Um, if I want to empty this big drum at all, down the bottom here, we've got this valve at the bottom, which I can drain off anything so I can dig out the soap and whatnot. So that's pretty much that. If you've got any questions, feel free to email or UTU message in like that. Um, I'm no, I can't say I'll be able to answer them, but I'll certainly do my best.